Hey guys, what's up? It's the Knife Enthusiast here. Coming at you with another review video in my Balasong Collection review series. So, today's video is going to be on the Spyderco Smallfly SS, or also known as the Spyderco Smallfly Stainless Steel. Now, in all my other review videos, like usual, I will be rating this knife on a scale of 1 to 10 in different categories at the end of the video. So, uh, usually that's around flipping, EDC, looks, and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, before we start the video, I just want to give you a good for the review, give you a good up close look at this beautiful knife. I love this knife. All right, good zoom in there. Got that nice spear point blade. Love the uh, the logos. They're very detailed, and uh, you can see them very clearly. Which on some battle songs you don't really see that that much. And I think that's a cool little added feature when you have your logos very precise and uh, detailed like that. Dual tang pins. Very nice. Got this matte finish uh, stainless uh, steel handles, which I absolutely love. They even have the designer's logos on there. Uh, I had, I don't remember the particular name of this designer, but he designed the Spyderco Dodo as well, if you're familiar with that knife. So, uh, spring latch. So it is spring loaded. I'll show you a demonstration of that real quick. Let's just squeeze the handles together a little bit. And then over to here springs out. So for all of you that haven't seen a spring latch before, there you go. Um, yeah, so that's the uh, in-depth little look at the knife. Pocket clip on the back, didn't show that one. So to start off the review, uh, let's just go ahead and work from the blade and go down. So absolutely love this blade. Uh, it's a great spear point blade. Uh, I don't know how well it would be for utility because I personally would not use this kind of knife for utility, EDC, but uh, it does have a nice belly there. So I think it would work pretty well. Uh, spine is a little bit sharp on the edges, but it does not actually affect flipping at all, in my opinion. Uh, horns, uh, they really don't affect anything on this knife, but you can choke up on them a little bit if you wanted to get a nice uh, secure grip on your knife. Uh, torque screws, basic torque screws on both sides. Uh, usually, uh, most battle songs that are above the $100 price range have torque screws, and if they don't, then I would be kind of concerned about that. So, uh, Dual tang pins, which is absolutely my favorite type of uh, tang pins because it keeps your handles spaced out and not so close together uh, when it's closed or opened or whenever you're flipping it. Uh, another feature that I really love about this knife is that it has channel construction handles. Now, the G10 Small Fly actually has sandwich construction handles. Uh, which is good, very light for flipping, but personally, I love the looks of the, the uh, channel construction battle songs better. I think it just, you know, seems a little bit more uh, appealing for looks. Uh, I don't get to see the blade and stuff on the inside, but I really love Spyderco's uh, channel construction because it has these waves here, which I find really cool, so I really love the channel construction on this one. Uh, it is a little bit heavier than the G10 Small Fly, which most of you probably either own or have heard of or used at some point. Uh, I think it weighs around four ounces, somewhere around there. It's the G10 weighs about three ounces. Uh, it's very, very good for flipping. I actually love the weight on this one more than the G10, mainly because it is more balanced in my opinion. It, it uh, doesn't feel kind of light. Uh, it's the perfect weight, not too heavy, not too light, and uh, it's perfect for flipping. Another main feature I love about it is it is very thin. Now, you can't really tell without something uh, next to it, uh, but when, in my comparison video, which I will probably throw a link down there in the description below if you want to go check that one out, in my comparison video on the G10 small fly versus the SS small fly, I actually showed them side by side, and the SS small fly is noticeably thinner than the G10 small fly, which I love because I feel like this is the perfect thickness for this type of valley. Uh, the G10 was always a little thick to me, and I, I love how they, this one is just so thin. Great for flipping. Um... So far, I really don't have any negatives about this knife. Um, it's perfect in my opinion. Uh, only flaw with the whole knife itself is basically just the way it's designed. Uh, it's a small balisong, which means you can't do as many tricks as you could with a full-size balisong, unfortunately. Um, so I don't know if this would ever be a competition-grade flipper, but this is probably one of my top five favorite flippers because it's just a fun little knife to pick up and flip around. It's a good weight. I love the feel of... Uh, uh, stainless steel titanium handles more than G10. I just love the fact that it's in this small uh, kind of small package, I guess I would say. 
love the spider fly and i always wish they made you know a smaller version of the spider fly just exactly the same and this is it and i love it so so very much i never actually knew the ss small fly existed until a couple of months ago when i found one uh so i just had to have it and i uh, like it a lot so it's uh great moving on with the review uh just a little side note there uh got a wire pocket clip which uh eliminates weight a lot on the ballast songs which is a good thing and it still is very functional uh very tight you can transfer it to any of the handles so it is four-way reversible uh whichever way you want to carry your knives i prefer my knives be right hand uh carry so i would probably have to flip this to the other side of the bite handle because i also like my pocket clips on the bite handle because it doesn't get in the way when uh flipping so uh, another feature is the Spyderco holes. Now, Spyderco, if you do know Spyderco, they always put holes in their blades for their folders, fixed blades, etc. They have this, you know, sim symbolic kind of hole that they do in all their knives. Now, obviously, they could not put it in a bow song because the blades, so especially this one, because the blades just too, it's just not thick enough to have a hole in it. So they just put it down here in the handles, which actually was a great design. Because uh, if you notice this latch, although it is a spring latch and it works great, uh, it's just a little too tiny for latch manipulations. And uh, it always wants to spring back on you uh, because it's at an angle. Uh, so it doesn't actually stay straight. You kind of have to force it to stay straight. So what I really like is that you can just put your two fingers for latch drops in the spiral holes and do latch drops with the uh, little hole there, which is kind of cool. I don't know if they designed that on purpose, but uh, it's a great feature and I love it. Latch is also reversible as well. I don't know how easy that's going to be with the uh, spring latch already wired up and uh, ready to go. So for flipping, this knife is absolutely amazing. It's thin, it's the perfect weight, and it has channel construction, which uh, probably adds more weight to the knife. But for me, I, I just I love the feel and the looks of channel construction better. So for me, that's a plus. And uh, it's a great little knife to flip around. It's fun. It just feels great. Uh, probably one of my favorite battle songs, to be honest. It's just, uh, uh, it just looks great, feels great, and uh, great, uh, great overall knife. Love it so far. Also, the edge is razor sharp, so something you can look forward to. Now, these are discontinued, so you cannot find these uh, in production anymore. They do not pop up on the secondhand market very often. And like I said, if they did pop up very often, I probably would have bought one by now because they are amazing, and I've always wanted a Spyderco small fly that was literally the exact same as the spider fly which this one is the SS version but I had to settle for the G10 which in my opinion wasn't uh, as good as the SS and uh, once I figured out that they actually existed on the forums a couple months ago which uh, goes to show that they don't pop up that much uh, I had to have one so this is a great knife uh, if you can find one I would strongly recommend getting it especially if you're a small battle song flipper this is probably the best small bow song that I've ever used for flipping. Uh, it's just a great bow song and uh, just so glad I glad I was able to get one. Uh, perfect, perfect knife. So uh, on a scale of 1 to 10 I would rate flipping uh, probably about an 8, uh, an 8 mainly because I wouldn't, I would rate it a 9 but it is a small bow song so it does not, uh, would not perform some moves as well as uh, other moves like a full size bow song. But it is still a great flipper, the best flipper for its size, in my opinion. So that's why I rated an 8 out of 10. Uh, main features, again, just for the ratings, I guess, uh, rating scale, is uh, that it does come with channel construction handles, which I feel uh, is just a little bit better for me. I just like the looks, and I like flipping channel construction handles better. Not zooming in that well. Oh, well. Uh, it's also thinner which is very good. I love the thickness. It's the perfect thickness. And it is not too light and not too heavy, so it is the perfect package for a small bow song, in my opinion. Uh, EDC. Now, uh, I don't know, never actually EDC'd one of these bow songs. I did uh, carry my black G10 small fly around a lot, but never cut anything with it. But uh, I don't think this one would be a perfect EDC. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess it could be because it has that nice belly, but I'm not sure how well it would perform. Uh, the handles with this finish on them, I would not really recommend for EDC, mainly because it scratches so easily. Uh, probably one of the easiest finishes to get uh, scratches on. So I don't know how well you would want to do that. So I'm going to rate this one probably a 7 out of 10 for EDC because I, I think it has potential, but 
I've never actually personally EDC'd it, so I don't have that much of an opinion on it. Looks, i uh, got to give it a 10 out of 10, mainly because I love the uh, channel construction on the smaller bow song, uh, because I love the Spiderfly, like I said, but if they made a smaller version, it would have just looked so much cooler, which this one does, and uh, I, I love it. So, 10 out of 10, I, I love the Spyderco Battle Song series. Not the best flippers in the world, the Zabafly being probably the worst one. But uh, the Spiderfly does flip very well once you get used to the awkward handles, and so does the small fly. Love flipping at them. They look really cool, and they're great knives. So, uh, that's the end of my review, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, been trying to make more videos recently because I've had some more knife stuff come in recently and knife storage options, new knives to review, and I've been postponing the review series hoping to, you know, experience, use those knives and flip them some more so I can add them in to the series, but I just keep getting more and more, so I'm just going to have to keep going on with the series until finally I stop running out of knives for a while, so that's why there's been a little bit of a delay. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, it was fun for me making it, mainly because this is my new favorite fun battle song to flip around. And uh, yeah, so this has been The Knife Enthusiast. Subscribe, like this video, and I will see you next time.